Greetings everyone and welcome into the hourglass. Welcome if you are new. It's great to have all you beautiful gorgeous souls on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> whether you're just watching for one video you're just passing through it's great to have your presence it's great to have your view what full moon in cancer in capricorn season happy birthday to all the capricorns i do have yellow candles going on my channel and it's to help uplift my community to take action is to encourage you guys to take action on your personal truth um your own truth in a more creative, positive, upbeat way. A lot of clarity, a wisdom, brain power coming through. If you guys are struggling with any type of addictions, I pray with you that you seek the professional help and you get that help to overcome those addictions. It could also be emotional, deep emotional addictions that is very difficult to break. We are all here to help each other, all right? So I'm gonna say a little affirmation for you. I pray you have the courage uh, to see the chains that hold you back and I hope you find the courage to break them because we're living an unbullshitified life here on the hourglass channel so i want to tap into your person and see what they would like you to know they may be dying to tell you what what it is but it is what it is so you guys take what resonates leave what doesn't i have no idea what's going to come through the cards it may be good it may be not so good but it is what it is all right if it does not fit do not fit it don't push it all right, just leave it, <laughs> all right? And if it's triggering you, please take a deeper look on what's, what's the emotional message that's piggybacking on, piggybacking, piggybacking on that trigger. Gosh, I'm tongue-tied today. All right, real quick, because my phone is on 40%, right? Real quick, <laughs> what does this person want to tell my viewer? What are they dying to tell you? What are they dying to tell you? I'm hearing MJ. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that song just always plays in my mind. All right, so let's see. What's the theme? What did they want to tell my viewer? All right, so we have unrequited love. Give your relationship a chance and retreat. Now, this is a mixed message. What? This may be three different scenarios, so take it how it resonates, you guys. I feel like right now you guys may be feeling very unrequited love because you know somebody may be not expressing themselves um it says not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so some of you may have expressed your hurts your pain to this person and they may be feeling like shit mill maybe i did too much i overdid it i kind of did um I was doing too much. I'm hearing in my fuck boy, fuck girl stage or my hoeing stage. And now I feel like I did too much uh, damage. And now I feel like the chemistry or the attraction is like burnt out. It has give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So your person, even though they feel very unrequited or it feels like your love has diminished, I'm hearing that I'm going to make you love me again or I'm going to bring, I'm going to help you to love me again. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So they could be wanting to uh, kind of spend some quality time with you to like really get that um, energy flowing between the both of you. You could be like stone cold or stole wall in this person they feel like you're kind of resisting them or you're holding back hey so again it could be three different scenarios for some of you you may feel like this is unrequited this person is just not on the same page and you may want to retreat from them even though you're having like this deep pulling of wanting to work on this partnership we about to bust down the tarot. So your person may want to tell you like, hey, you deserve love. It says you're lovable. For some of you, you may feel like this is not the partnership for you. Or they may be feeling some doubts coming from you. But what they really want to tell you is, this is the strong message I'm feeling from my soul, from in my heart space, that they want to disconnect. They want to get you alone. They want to spend some quality time to really speak or talk about what the hell you guys are going to do to work on this partnership. They could sense that you're doubting them as well, all right? I'm hearing that they need your forgiveness. They want to compromise with you with the unrequited love. This may be something that they're hesitating to tell you for some reason. I'm looking at my camera here. They may be hesitating to tell you, like, listen, you are lovable. You deserve love. And I'm sorry that I did not show you that. I'm sorry that I I, I don't do it every waking moment or I don't do it in the way that makes you feel reassured. Could you please forgive me? Can we please have a compromise? Now, when I say compromise, I'm not saying to compromise your energy, your boundaries for this person. I'm saying compromise where the both of you are winning. 
all right, without, you know, uh, bending backwards or lowering your boundaries to an unhealthy level. That's what I'm feeling. This person may feel like this is a very angelic or it's a very pure uh, situation between the both of you, what they're dying to tell you is that they really, really want you to help them. They really want you to cooperate with them. All right. So let's get the, no, let's get some crappy cards. All right. Crappy cards. What is, okay. So energy block. So some of you could have retreat from this person. You're just not pouring into the situation as much as you did. And they're kind of like worried about that. They're kind of worried that if you may kind of like tell them or reject them as well with the retreat card, clarify the retreat card, please. I'm hearing that they may have been gone too long. They may have been gone too long, you know, and it's causing major doubts here. It says increase money. So your person could be working on planning a trip or planning an event. It could be a one day event, two day event of how they're going to disconnect with, uh, with you from the world. Clarify, give your relationship a chance. Listen, I'm hearing that MJ song. I just can't stop loving you. You know, I just can't stop loving you. So listen to that song memories. Listen, this person is still holding on to the way how you used to be. They're still holding on to this old person. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but they really want that person, that loving person that you were. They could still sense. It's almost like I'm hearing, I know you love me, but do you still want this? Do you still want to do this with me? Cause I'm not feeling this energy of cooperation or this willingness. Hey, I'm not saying that they want you to be all excited every day, but they don't sense the willingness to patch things up or to bridge the gap. Hey, you guys, this person has a goal. They have a mission. They have some sort of, um, plan for the future that, that they want for the both of you. It's in their mind. It's always on their mind, but they feel like you're kind of like ignoring them or you're like turn away from this goal that you guys may have had. Maybe in the past, they didn't tell you, express to you that they wanted the same things. Maybe they wasn't too sure of how to get to that outcome, but they really want, I'm feeling like it's a, it's a, it's like, um, a, a strong hold that they have on you. You know, this person pops up in your mind because they're constantly thinking about you, worried about you. What are you doing? Who are you doing it with? Please uh, clarify the unrequited love here. What is this going on? Dad, damn it. It fell on the floor. <laughs> All right. So we have need to be alone. So your person may feel like you just want to be on your own. You want to do your own thing. It's almost like they know you care, you love them, but they feel like you're better. You're showing them that you're better off alone. You want to be without them. They don't want to be without you though. You know, they feel like you're their, their perfect partner. They feel like this is their partnership that you're throwing away, that you're just letting blow in the wind. Mm -mm. Tell me more about this unrequited love. I'm so nosy. What did they want to tell my person about this unrequited love temptation? Oh my. And we have new career path. So for some of you, you may have kind of like inspired your person to take on a new career endeavor to get some shmoneys. They want to increase their monies to, to get this retreat going. They feel like you deserve it. They feel like they owe the relationship this time together. Now they may feel like you're tempted elsewhere or Whatever they're tempting you with, you're just fucking over it. You know, maybe they're trying to be on their best behavior. Maybe they're trying to show you that they want this partnership, but it's like somebody may feel like they're fucking over it. I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I deserve love. I don't deserve love when I walk away. It's almost like you had to walk away for this person to, to um, get into gear or start having this drive of wanting to repair or work on this partnership. And you may have, you may feel like, you know what, it shouldn't have to take me walking away for you to see the value of what we had or what we have or what we could have. Hey, but it's something about the goal or whatever outcome that you were expecting from this person. They just could not see how to get there. How, how are we going to do that? If you're in a long distance relationship, this person may have thought that that was impossible. 
you know they may not have had the creative or the innovative mind like you do all right i feel like for some of you your your mind or you're in a different direction right now you're more onto things that make you feel good about yourself you have an aim you may be someone that knows what you want know what you're um you're worth and this person it's we're gonna bust down the tarot <laughs> I want to see how is this person feeling about you, though. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I lose my deck? Let's see how this person is feeling about you. This person may have been, you know, and a lot of times we have to remember that money is one of the factors that breaks up relationships and uh, marriages, all right? So this person may have been putting a lot of stock. Money may have been very important to them to make this dream come true. But, you know, they could be trying to tell you like listen i remember everything that you fucking told me all right everything that you said it left a mark you know it stained my heart it stained it stained my mind and i really want to do this with you but i could see that you're not all oh, hey and i'm willing you know to help you remember this love that we share you know what i'm saying so how is this person feeling about my viewer their core emotions their truth about their emotions hey so guess what? They feel extremely happy with you. You make them feel blissful. You have this love that warms this person's soul. It's like your chicken soup. It's like your, their cup of tea here. All right. They see a new day with you each and every day. I'm hearing Lil Wayne. Don't I look at you like I, like I see a new day, you know? <laughs> Listen, you make this person feel very masculine. If you're watching for a man, you make this person feel extra masculine. If you're a guy that's watching for a female, it doesn't even matter what gender. You make this person feel extremely powerful. You bring clarity, vibrancy. You bring bliss, joyfulness. You bring a lot of high frequency to this person. You may feel burnt out. You know, they may feel like they may have lack a lot of clarity or uh, communication skills. It's like I'm hearing I'm not good with my words, but I could show you. But you have to give me that time. You have to give me that space to show you. You know what I'm saying? So let's see how they think that you feel about them. I'm hearing this is a never ending story. It's, I'm hearing we're connected. We're too connected to fall away, to fall apart. Why are you fighting this? How are they how they think you feel about them? Oh, wow. So they think that you were too lonely in the situation. Hey, grateful is the under, underlying energy. So again, you fill this person up. They're very thankful for the energy for you being in their life. They feel like they left you alone too much or you may, they think that you feel like um, you, they alienated you. They left you out in the cold too much. They waited too long. For some of you, this person affected you so much that you kind of like put yourself in isolation. This person not um, showing you how they truly felt or taking initiation or guiding or leading you, they feel like they affected um, how you feel around people. Oh my goodness, you guys. So they are very aware of the effect that they had on you. Let's see what's going on with the tarot, you guys. It's some cards here are reversed because I'm a bad ass. I like to get to the, the details, the real shit, right? So let's see what's going on here. They may have kind of like upset your uh, appetite here. They affected your appetite. Oh man, they want you to know like, listen, you deserve my love. So you know what? I should have shown you back then but it's like I, I didn't understand the type of it's like they looking at you and trying to figure out like what world did you come from you know you bring this person immense I'm hearing that they didn't want to get so connected and have this love this blissfulness this happiness being ripped from under them so your person could have a fear of embracing true happiness they may feel like oh my god it's like Oh my God, we have the four of ones underneath the deck. So I'm definitely feel like you bring a lot of self-esteem to this person. You know, the person that you are, you may be very good looking. You may be a good, a good spirited person, but it's like they could not hold on to this happiness and fear that it's going to be ripped from them. Now they're holding on extremely tighter than they were before. They know that they left you out in the cold too many times. They may have left you on your own too many times and they have memories of that. 
For some of you, this person could have been tempted by other people or other things, and it felt very unrequited. This person did not know how to grasp the level of intimacy here with the four of wands. You may have wanted a happy home. You may have wanted marriage. You may have wanted to blend families, and they just could not see how to do that. They were not in tune. They were not connected with their higher selves. And now they may be going through a portal of 1111. Your person may have been freshly activated. They have me just now woken up to this connection. This could also denote a very divine connection, AKA the twin flame dynamic. Doesn't have to be, but it could mean that this person sees marriage with you. They see a home with you. You may have unlocked some um, hidden, you may have helped this person rediscover who they are. You may have helped this person rediscover what true happiness is, but they did not. I'm hearing that you, they feel like, they feel like you feel they took advantage of you. Oh, child. Let's bust down the tarot, you guys. Shit. Yeah. They were manipulative. They know. They know what they were manipulated. They let you stay on your own a lot. They let you miss them too much. And they may have felt like that was a good way to do things between the both of you to let you miss them. But it's almost like you started to really look at your emotions and how you felt. And it's like you woke up one day and say, you know what? I don't give a rat's ass anymore. I deserve love. I'm looking at the situation. I'm looking at how I feel and I don't feel good. So now you have your aim elsewhere. They feel we have the hermit. So in reverse, it could be a Virgo. Some of you may feel like this person betrayed you or this person was be was getting betrayed by friends and family or they have. And this is why it was one sided. This is why it felt like for some of you it felt like no strings attached. It could have felt like this person was extremely selfish with their time, with their energy, with their affection, with their emotions. And it's because they suffer from betrayal before. They were very isolated about what they wanted, about their love, about partnership. They may have been just a taker. All right. And they're having memories about that. We have the seven of cups. This person made a lot of poor decisions in the past and they didn't have clarity about how to work on this thing together. So it's almost like they had to lose you. They had to go into this isolation. Maybe some friends and family betrayed them or they're very aware that you have a friend or family that betrayed you and you were possibly overgiven. So they could have felt like because things may have, you may have kind of like excluded people out of your life. You were kind of like, pushing your hurts or your codependency on this person they could have felt like you know what they wasn't even doing right by you for you to be treating them this way they were kind of confused about why you were so good to them so a lot of unrequited love hey this person had you waiting a long time in a very one-sided situation very selfish energy and they were making a lot of bad poor decisions you know and it affected them king of cups so we saw the queen of cups in reverse and now we have the king of cups so you know in this betrayal energy in this isolation your person had time to stew about how they felt about you so you know they could have been a manipulator an emotional manipulator or they just have like a really strong control over their emotions this person kept them themselves reserved from you they kept themselves stuck or trapped in a situation that was not given to them either they could have been isolating themselves from you because they didn't have what it takes to give to you not even their emotions what they felt for you now they're looking for a solution even though they feel stuck they could also feel stuck with you stuck in this engagement or stuck in this memory of not giving to you and now it's like they're looking for some sort of resolution or solution hey i feel like in this eight of swords and stewing in this isolation with their emotions they're now finally seeing um that they should take control hey but they also feel like they have to end some sort of punishment or they need you to end a punishment hey they feel like you're punishing them by reserving yourself death card Scorpio energy, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be those signs. It's just what's going on here. 
This person may not be taking action as swiftly as you would like them to because, again, they're going through a transformation or they may have been resisting kind of making a decision here because of confusion. So with the death card, it's like somebody's lonely. This person may have not even been aware that they were lonely and they kind of project that loneliness on you. So, you know, this person could have been going through life very lonely and they did not recognize that death was taking over, that endings was happening around them due to this loneliness that they were cascading, I'm, I'm hearing. Uh, so your person in this eight of swords is still very lonely, stewing in all of these emotions. They may feel like the, sh the time has passed or the ship has already set sail, but guess what? It seems that they want to come in with this transformation, that they want to come in with this change. I'm seeing the sunrise in the back. So it's almost like this person sees a new dawn with you, but it's kind of confusing of how to do that. They're at peace that things ended or um, they may feel like you're at peace that things ended between the both of you. And that's causing a little bit of confusion. They need clarity about how to transform this thing or how to work with you. And I feel like you're kind of like looking away. It's like, nah. I'm not working on this shit. My aim is elsewhere. It could be a new career path as well. So let's see what this death card and the seven of cups is about. Page of one. So they may be feeling a lot of energy. You know, they're ready to uh, explore some new ways of doing things, but it's a lot of confusion. They need clarity about how to do that. They may want to talk to you about how to seek a resolution here or how to take control. It's kind of confusing or they don't have the clarity about how to take control with you. Distance could be a factor. Uh, money could be a factor here as well. Coming out of this loneliness may be a factor. It seems like you may have sunk in a hole of loneliness or you may have told this person like, listen, you had me on my own too long and they don't know how to pull you out of that illusion. They don't know how to pull you out of that uh, conclusion that you came to. Your person in the page of wands, they could feel like um, they're ready to take a risk here, but there's a fair hair of um, getting hurt. It's like they want to they want to come in the kitchen and take that heat, but it's a fair of getting burned. Your person is very sexually uh, active or attractive to you. They feel like they're being triggered to have a new discovery. They want to have, they feel triggered to make a commitment of travel or <laughs> they feel energetic about you. They may have some sort of fresh idea and they're feeling very uh, fearless about it, but they have difficulties trying to transform, transform this into a long-term relationship connection or bond. This is what they want to tell you, that they're feeling very energetic about turning this into a long term, but they're confused about how to do that. They need clarity. They're very tempted to take a risk here. <clears throat> it's almost like the emotions is too much to control now. It, they can't take the loneliness. They have been betrayed too, and they don't want to live that. They're tired of being sad. They're tired of being betrayed. They're tired of hurting you. One more card, please. So it's a lot of rediscovering or exploring energy here, but your person may be feeling very disconnected from you. Yeah, they're looking for ways on how to do this. They may want to do something very instant, but they feel like it's going to take some time. The magician in reverse. So they may have felt like they, lo they lost power here. They may even feel like they don't have enough resources to kind of like move on these ideas that they have with you. And this is very challenging to them. They may feel very lonely without you. They may feel like they're trapped in a circumstances where they're, where it's one sided as well, or they feel like it cannot, they're looking for clarity on how to move out of this one sidedness with you. But with the magician in reverse, they may have played a lot of games or too much trickery was going on here and they feel like they cannot um, get that taste out of your mouth, actually. It was too much deception and they feel like they can't get, they can't persuade you or they can't change your mind about how you see them in a lot of ways, hey person that's watching. So, you know, if your person was not really faithful, 
or you know they were very greedy manipulative six of pentacles greedy one-sided it's like they want to show you that they have transformed but they they don't know how to show you that clarity if I don't know if you guys feel very separated. Maybe you moved on and it's no way how they could show you that they want to transform things. Very cunning energy. You may also look at this person as very untrustworthy. Some of you may be very glad that you moved on from this person. You're at peace that things fell away or died. You let things die between the both of you or they let things die. They may also feel like they, they feel like you feel that they, they took advantage of you. Oh, yeah. With the magician in reverse, I feel like they lost power. They lost touch of you, lose communication with you. But man, they have a lot of ideas that they want to explore, but they may have difficulties sustaining long term relationship or whatever situation factor is. Hey, it's blocking you guys from sustaining something long term if that's what you were looking for. So let's get some Black Sands energy. Oh, my camera does not die. What does this person want to reveal to my person that's watching? Driven by lust. I'm telling you, that's that page of wands. They feel very sexually attracted to you. They want to get active with, with you. They want to kiss you. They may also feel like this is what's needed to, to build a bond, a soul tie through sex. For some of you, this person might even want to um, like really nut in you or they want you to nut on them because it's a soul tie. They want to feel that love. They want to show you how much passion or power they have for you. They're constantly thinking about it. I don't know if this person masturbates to it. And you may feel like this person is just a flirt. Like, you're too flirty for me, honey. <laughs> I deserve something that's stable. I wonder what you think and feel about me. Do you still care? So they're unaware about where to stand in your life. Your expectations threaten my reputation. So they were in this magician in reverse, trickery. This person could be prone to greed, manipulation, one-sided affairs. And it kept you trapped for a minute. But you came out in that Queen of Cups energy where you was like, you know what? I'm looking at how I felt. And I'm not being honored or respected or appreciated for how I feel about you. So guess what? I'm going to unstuck myself. I'm going to unfuck myself and move on. So you may have let things die, fade out, not uh, corresponding or communicating with this person because you were seeing that you know that tr untrustworthy energy was causing a lot of bad decisions in this person's life whether you choose to tell them or not it's like they did not see the limited or they did not see the limitless opportunities with you I've uncovered family secrets I don't know how I'm feeling about life hmm uh, I need space to find me. I love you. So this person loves you, but they're still stewing. You know what? This person could be coming to the conclusion that the way that they were raised were from unreliable sources or guardians, parents. Somebody trained this person to be in this trickery energy, in this greed, cunning. This person lacked a lot of clarity, hey? They lacked a lot of clarity when you guys, when you were like all about them is what I'm hearing poor thing walking on eggshells can't speak the truth a mask so again they they may be kind of like sketchy or iffy about telling you why they did the things that they did it's like it's not a good reason it's not a an, it's just an excuse quit trying to fit into a world that never really fit you so your person being in this isolation or away from you or going through this ending with you could have caused this person to really look at their behaviors in this King of Cups energy. This person has a lot of love to give. They have a lot of passion. This person is a very emotional, sensitive person, but the way how they were raised, and again, they could have been very lonely, not really fitting in with a lot of people around them, and they kind of like deflect and project that on you. Uh, this could have been something that they didn't even were aware of for some of you, you may class this person as a narcissistic person just taking taking looking for sources or looking for supply or validation to make them feel really good about themselves i don't know how to accept love properly hmm. until i have or make money we accept the love we think we deserve so your person needs money to feel um love Wow. 
Whew, so this is probably why we have the seven of pentacles. They can't commit to anything long term unless their shmoneys is up. And they're not kind of, they're not really happy about where their money's at right now. So they're looking for ways to increase their money. This could have been a factor in you guys' thing where they were just all over looking for um, ways to make money. And it left you alone a lot. Your best deserves my best. Me loving me makes me ready for you trust the process so this person is still stewing in a lot of reflective energy they're looking really deep within their selves they could even be kind of like diving deep in um a lot of their emo unchecked emotions as well and they're seeing like how untrustworthy they were in your eyes I want to completely drain the soul out of you, breathe life back into your spirit at the same time. So they want to use sex or tantra sex or intimacy, sexual intimacy to really build over the bond with you. I feel like this person wants to use sex um, to like get closer to you. Somebody may have taught them that too, or they really feel like when they were having sex with you that they kind of notice your energy or your love towards them were more potent. I never knew what love meant until I lost you. And every time I close my eyes, I see you. It's hard to move on. <laughs> Because again, you may be someone that never betrayed this person. They were so accustomed to being betrayed that they develop or they adapt this taken energy, this trust, untrustworthy energy to protect themselves. But now they're seeing like, damn, I really hurt the one person that can. Cyber stalking. This person is still truly interested in you. They're very curious. They're keeping tabs on you, watching your every move, kind of like looking at how much you have grown. And they're looking at themselves and they're like, damn, I got to step my game up too, boo. So let's see what else they want to tell you. Channel messages may or may not resonate. I'm going to lock it off now. So yeah, this person may have been pure evil and they did not realize how toxic they were to you until you moved on or you decided to let this thing die. I feel like you welcome the ending in this thing because you see that this person was resisting um, to change their ways or they were just still making the same mistakes. And you're like, you know what? I deserve love, boo-boo. And this is not fucking love. It may have been some good sex. Or again, this person feels like through sex, this is the only way that they could show you how much they're passionate or loving towards you. But you're like, uh-uh. You can't have none of this ton ton, none of this nicky, none of this pipe out of here. It's like that meme that I saw yesterday. Stay away from people that are toxic. Stay away from that that toxic dick, all right? Because all it's going to do is cause imbalance. This person could be very aware that they're a very imbalanced individual. I believe my own lies. I'm telling you, self-deception, a lot of self-sabotage. They were in denial. This person... This person was served a game. They were sold a game of lies and they were just living it up until they met you. And it's like, ooh, shit, this is true happiness right here. But they recognize it too late. I don't want to compete. So for some of you, this person knows that you're with someone or they don't want to compete with your new life or the direction that you're in. All right. They don't want to kind of like come in and kind of cause a distraction or blockage. Hey. I promise you. So they have heart, heart vows for you. It says, I promise that I'll willingly be your protector, your advisor, your counselor, your friend, your family, your everything. I'll always be here for you to listen and to hold your hand. I'll always do my best to make you happy and make you feel love. Pray with you, dream with you, build with you. For some of you, this was your energy towards them. And now they're seeing that they took that for granted. You had a heart vow with this person. Funny how we have to lose things to know the value of it, huh? Oh my goodness. We have some more heart uh, messages. So we have, we spoke about lovers who kept finding each other no matter how many times the world came between them. And I think I had to break your heart and you had to break mine. How else could we know the worth of what we're given, my love? So this, you are this person's love. But it's like they, you guys had to break each other's heart to let new light in, to have new understandings, to have a new experience, to heal and clear a lot of bullshit out. This person know they hurt you. They hurt you. And in the unrequited love, they are begging for some sort of uh, compromise. Hey. Pretending 
call me i have so much to say so they're pretending like they're okay with you moving on but it's 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 the the silence is deafening this person i feel like they get extra lonely without you you know whether it's your texts your company your affection what have you they want that heart to heart conversations i feel like they want to tell you they don't want anything to come between of you guys they're they're willing to do better if you're willing to do better i'm hearing i'm willing to stay if you stay okay all right, so we're getting squishy, huh? <laughs> somebody's divine masculine. We have the power card. So this is somebody's divine masculine. So this person did not see their own divinity. They were moving. They were surviving in a wounded masculine energy. It could be male or female. And you have helped them to see their sacredness. You have helped them to go into this isolation, this deep reflection. And again, they have suffered a lot of betrayals and they betrayed you. They did what other people was doing to them. Oh, Jesus. Stuck in the past. This person lives in the memory of you. They hold on to it. It's the only thing that keeps them connected to you is the memory of you. And, you know, they could still be hurting over a lot of betrayals. This person could have deep-seated trust issues. It's hard for them to, it's like they're so terrified of emotions and love, but they're willing to work on it if you're willing to work on it. Let's see what's in the middle of the deck. Is this a good bet? <laughs> Unworthy. So this person is definitely insecure because they lack money. They're very triggered. They have more triggering to go through. Or this uh, situation is still very triggering to your person. They want you to know that they're very insecure about um, being worthy of you, of having you. But they cannot shake your love. They cannot shake the memories. And I feel like they're going to try. They may try sporadically to like get in touch with you or to be your friend or, but they have difficulty sustaining long-term, all right, because of these secure insecurities, this uh, lack of confidence and money, all right? So this situation triggers this person to step into their divinity, honey. And, you know, as a divine feminine keeper, I do not recommend you being in any situation that cause low self-esteem, that causes you to feel really bad about yourself, whether, whether or not it's a twin flame or higher level soulmate or divine connection. If this person is constantly repeating patterns, you don't need to be there. Let them figure that shit out in a karmic cycle or in a karmic account with another individual. They have to step to you with transparency, with confidence, you know, and we all go through low confidence honey but some of us bite the bullet and we move through it fearlessly we let those triggers or the insecurities fuel our ambition and this person needs to learn to do that um for some of you uh the choice is ultimately up to you as well this is just what they're not telling you what they're dying to tell you that they're stuck in the past all right they're having issues with clarity they're having issues with being trustworthy as well but they're still stalking you all right they're still contemplating on what to do hey they really want to take action they want to be fearless and bold but they feel like they have left a bad memory or a bad taste in your mouth so i'm gonna leave it there i don't recommend anybody to go back in a cycle that causes them unnecessary um triggers or unnecessary life cycles all right so always do the best for you follow your heart and i'll see you guys in another channel message thank you guys for your spiritual generous tips and donations to the free readings here on the hourglass chat to you guys later ciao